Now, President Museveni has again warned Bobby Wine on recruiting young people to attack security installations in the country. I'm coming up with the details. But before I take you through that story, I want to thank my Ugandan people for being the biggest audience that views my stories right here on The Buzz UG. Big upon yourselves. Uh, United Kingdom, I see you. United Arab Emirates, I see you. United States, I see you as well. And uh, Saudi Arabia, thank you so much for being part of The Buzz UG as well. Now, going to the details of the stories that I have for you this morning. Government officials, foreign diplomats and uh, religious leaders came together yesterday for a thanksgiving at State House and Tebe. In his speech, President Museveni used the opportunity to talk about the attacks on security installations in the past weeks. He warned groups allegedly recruiting young people to carry out attacks on security. And I would uh, want to ask to uh, appeal to those groups who mislead these young people to be restored because those, those young people will die like the fellows will there is a character who, who was killed in Kapeka with another one called Sechimpi he was a noob a noob something now having listened to this audio uh, some people have said that definitely President Museveni was indirectly talking about Bobby Wine's camp NUP as the group he said is uh, recruiting young people to attack security. Because you see Museveni again mentioned the other guy who they shot in the Kapeka attack and uh, they linked him to the NUP camp. Anyway, let's listen to that NUP part again. There is a character who, who was killed in Kapeka with another one called Sechimpi. He was a noob, a noob, something. He was a noob, a noob, something. <laughs> there you go. That is uh, President Museveni right there for you. I don't know what you think, but in case you have anything on your mind, just put it down in the comment section. Now, Bobby Wine's bodyguard, Jamshid Kavuma, together with other three people, have been charged with uh, malicious damage of government property. They are said to have damaged a drone that had come to abduct them at Paradise Bar in Masanafu. Kavuma has also revealed that he was questioned to reveal Bobby Wine's plan and why he keeps on damaging the image of Uganda before the international community. We haven't known the date they will be returned back to court. However, the other day, Jamshid Kavuma showed the wound on his thigh where he was shot at the time he was being abducted. We wish him a very quick recovery. Now, Uganda police yesterday, right here in Kampala, arrested another group of Ugandans with banners and uh, megaphones rallying Ugandans to reject the East African crude oil project. Police hurried to arrest them before they proceeded to the Central Business Center and uh, they are currently being detained at CPS uh, Central Police Station pending prosecution in the court of law. However, we haven't heard from uh, the Kampala Metropolitan Police spokespersons, that is uh, Patrick Onyango and uh, Luko Waisujire, commenting on this matter. Well, a top minister in President Museveni's government survived an accident this week after her car bumped into a wide pothole in Mabira Forest along Jinja Kampala Highway. It's reported that the minister was returning from Jinja to Kampala after accomplishing her duties up country. However, the minister's identity has not been disclosed, but some people are speculating that it could be Minister Rukia Nakadama, Honorable Miley Babalanda, or Honorable Pasis Namuganza, one of the three. And uh, many people on social media are saying that this should be a lesson to those in government. They should know that uh, there is still a lot that has to be done in this country, Uganda. 
Well, there you go. That is the latest update I have for you this morning on The Buzz UG. And as always, in case you haven't subscribed, kindly subscribe and also tap on the bell for all the notifications. My name is Melaz Milo, a.k.a. Fuller, and it's a bye for now. Thank you. Audio Jungle.